Mr. Hafner here. Here's a short video on absolute and gauge pressure. In the middle here, we got a picture of a barometer, an aneroid barometer. So it has some uh, very, um, it has some pieces of metal on which are very sensitive to changes in pressure, and that turns the dial. And it can be used to determine uh, if there's likely to be any change in weather. Okay, so uh, pressure is uh, also known as stress sometimes, and pressure is the force per unit area, and um, it is how the force is distributed over an area. The formula for calculating pressure is usually force over area. The SI unit is the Pascal, and uh, one Pascal is equal to one Newton per square meter. The Imperial unit is usually the pound per square inch, PSI. And a popular unit for, um, for scientists is the atmosphere, uh, which is the amount of pressure the Earth's atmosphere is, is exerting on the surface of the Earth, which is around 101,300 Pascals or 101.3 kilopascals. So when it comes to uh, blood pressure and the first barometers, pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury, which is often called the TOR, or the millimeter of mercury. HG is the chemical symbol for mercury. And typical blood pressure is 120 TOR over 80 TOR. Uh, one other commonly used pressure unit is the bar and the millibar. And some European countries, they use this for car tire pressure. So a car tire might have a, a pressure of 35 pounds per square inch, 240 kilopascals, or 2.35 bars. So here's the conversion rates down below. One atmosphere is a 101.3 kilopascals, which is 101,300 pascals, which equals 14.69 psi, which is 760 tor, or millimeters of mercury. A thousand millibars is equal to one bar, which is equal to 0.9869 atmospheres, which equals 100,000 pascals or 100 kilopascals. So you can use these uh, values to convert between all the different units. Uh, so an ATM is an atmospheric pressure, not a bank machine. Okay, gauge pressure is the pressure measured by a gauge instrument. Uh, gauge pressure is zero referenced against the ambient air pressure, so it is equal to the absolute pressure minus the atmospheric pressure. What's that mean? It means um, gauge pressure ignores the atmospheric pressure. So you're doing a pressure reading, but you're completely ignoring what the atmosphere is doing. So, um, and that is because the uh, atmospheric pressure is pressuring the gauge and the object that you're measuring. It. So those two. Those two values cancel out, and you're with, just with, left with gauge pressure. Absolute pressure is the total pressure acting on the surface, which includes the atmosphere and other sources of pressure or stress. So uh, absolute pressure is zero referenced against a perfect vacuum, outer space, and it is equal to the gauge pressure plus the atmospheric pressure. So here's the formula right here. So your absolute pressure, your total pressure on an object, is equal to the atmosphere, plus whatever the gauge reads. So for example, a tire gauge would read 35 PSI, but the atmosphere is 14.7 PSI. So altogether, what's the absolute pressure? 14.7 from the atmosphere, 35 from uh, what's been inflated into the tire, and altogether the tire is experiencing 49.7 PSI. Here's another example here. We got a, a 100 kilogram worker uh, standing on the ground. And the worker is wearing shoes, which are 15 centimeters by 8 centimeters each. And there's one atmosphere of pressure pushing down on the worker. So to calculate the um, pressure, we're going to take the, the force of the worker, which is gravity. So we're going to do uh, mass times G, 9.8. So 100 kilos times 9.8, that's going to be 980 newtons of force. Divided by the surface area of the shoes on the ground, so that's 15 centimeters, 0.15 meters by 8 centimeters, 0 0.08 meters, times the two shoes. And when we work it out, the worker is putting uh, 40,833 pascals of pressure. If you divide by 101,300, you get 0 0.403 atmospheres. So altogether, the absolute pressure is the one atmosphere from the air, plus the 0 0.403 from the worker's shoes. And now the ground is experiencing 1.403 atmospheres of pressure which is a 40.3% increase compared to normal. Here's an example for depth pressure. Depth pressure is when an object is submerged in a liquid, and uh, the following is used to calculate the gauge pressure. 
So the gauge pressure is equal to the density of the liquid times G, 9.8 on the planet Earth, and times the depth, H, we use H for higher depth. So for example, what's the pressure on a submarine or the depth of uh, 300 meters? So you got your one atmosphere from uh, the air pushing down on the ocean, and you got 300 meters of water pushing down on the submarine. So to calculate the, um, the gauge pressure, we're going to take uh, the density of water, which is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, multiply by 9.8 newtons per kilo, which is gravity, G, times 300 meters. And the ocean is going to put 2,940,000 pascals of pressure on the, uh, on the submarine. If you divide by 101,300, we get 29 atmospheres of pressure. So the absolute pressure is going to be 1 from the air plus 29 from the water. Altogether, the submarine is going to feel 30 atmospheres of pressure, or 30 times what it would do if it was in dry dock. So it's a lot of pressure. It'll actually like squeeze the, uh, the walls in a little bit. So uh, question three, how deep can a recreational scuba diver dive before reaching a safe limit of 4.77 atmospheres of absolute pressure? So I went online and uh, according to um, one web resource, 4.77 atmospheres may be a safe value or the maximum safe value for a recreational diver. So to find out, we're just going to do the opposite of what we did last time. So we got uh, 4.77 atmospheres is equal to the one atmosphere plus whatever the gauge is. So the gauge is going to read 3.77 atmospheres. So 3.77 times 101,300 is 381,901 pascals. And that's going to be equal to um, the density of water, 1,000 kilos per cubic meter, times gravity, 9.8. And that's going to work out to 9,800 newtons per cubic meter. And we just got to multiply, uh, divide that over, and we can find the height. And so you can safely dive maximum safe, safe distance or depth of 39 meters, which is about 128 feet. Okay, so if you're a recreational diver, they don't recommend going deeper than that. Okay, so in summary, uh, the absolute pressure is equal to the uh, atmospheric pressure plus the gauge pressure. And pressure is the force distribution per unit area between surfaces and contact, which is called stress, or it could be from being submerged as well. Gauge pressure is the pressure according to a pressure gauge device, which ignores the atmospheric pressure. And the atmospheric pressure is the pressure due to the atmosphere, which on the planet Earth is 101.3 kilopascals, which we just call one atmosphere. A barometer measures the atmospheric pressure and can, sh and can indicate changes in weather. So here's the old-fashioned barometer here. So we have air pushing down the mercury, and then the mercury goes up in a tube. And uh, sea level pressure was around 76 centimeters, or 7, 764. And uh, here's an aneroid barometer, which uh, has metal sensitive to pressure changes. And there you go. I hope this video has been useful. Thank you.